Jumbo Africa. Today I am here in East Africa, more specifically in Tanzania, and we are going to be doing a safari ride along where we're going to go spot some animals. So let's go for a safari. Let's begin our African safari game drive where we'll explore two different sites. The first is Ngorongoro, which is a deep volcanic crater, also known as the Garden of Eden. The second is the Singita Grumeti Reserve, which is located just adjacent to the Serengeti National Park, also home to the Great Migration. So let's go for a safari. A lot of these safari sites are very remote, so the only way you could really access it is by light aircraft, which is really cool because you're flying at extremely low altitudes and you can even spot the animals as you're going over to your destination. So once we actually landed at Ngorongoro, we went straight to the game drive. And this is a crater that was formed between two to three million years ago where a volcano exploded on itself, leaving this big giant crater, which is home to about 30,000 big game animals. And now it's been used as a more colloquial term to describe the five most interesting animals to spot. And the big five are lion, elephant, rhino, buffalo, and leopard. So the thing about Ngorongoro is it's a national park, so you can't really deviate off the path. However, it was still a very majestic site to explore. You're surrounded by these massive walls and where you know are home to thousands of wild animals and it's just incredible to spot. The next destination is the Singita Grumeti Reserve where you really can explore with no boundaries and this is where we're going to spend most of our time. And like car spotting, animal spotting requires a lot of patience. So we started at 5 a.m. where we saw a lot of sleepy lions and they became alert and just started marching and we had no idea what they were up to until we actually blasted across the park and saw that a hunt was imminent, where we were able to catch two lions hunting. The way the big cats hunt is one usually suffocates the animal and the other pins it down. So that's exactly what we saw and it was incredible just to observe these animals hunting and being perfectly oblivious to us right next to them. Next, as we were exploring, we came through a huge dense population of a wildebeest, which is really the most abundant wild game and their migration pattern coincides with the rainfall. And this is just an incredible sight to observe as you see this huge herd of wildebeest just marching in one direction. As we continue our drive, we came across this huge herd of elephants and these are very phenomenal creatures to watch. The most important limb of the elephant is their trunk, which is delicate enough to pick up a blade of grass, but strong enough to rip a branch off a tree. Continuing on our safari, we came across two cheetahs that were just sleeping under the tree. And after a hunt, it takes about 30 minutes to catch their breath. Anyways, here we actually saw two cheetahs taking apart a gazelle. And finally, as we were heading back to our lodge, we came across these giraffes, which to me were the most exciting animals to spot. They were so surreal to observe. They seemed almost Jurassic-like. And the way you can actually differentiate a male from a female giraffe is by their neck. A male giraffe is very, very straight versus the female is slightly bent forward and has a bit of a hump on the back. I've always said the biggest motivator in my life is being able to develop and grow my character through experiences. And I think Africa was one of those experiences that really changes you. I know a lot of you don't know that much about me, but interesting fact, I was actually born in Nairobi, Kenya. So I've actually experienced these safaris before. And as they say, you know you are truly alive when you're living amongst the lions. So, Hakuna Matata, until next time.